Greetings to everyone. Um, I want to take a few moments to talk about something that I noticed today. Uh, we were watching an episode of the show Good Luck Charlie. Now, as we know this, or as some of us know, this is a show, an American sitcom, that has aired on the Disney Channel. And according to Wikipedia, it aired from April 4th, 2010 to February 16th of 2014. Now, our children watch this all the time on um, Netflix. So, but we have not watched a lot of it. So, you know, we've watched an episode today uh, with several episodes. And what I want to emphasize is this. We were in the last season, season four, and we were watching an episode where a couple comes over, uh, I guess, to introduce themselves or so the kids can play or something. And come to find out, the children or the child had two mothers. And two mothers in the sense of it was a homosexual couple. Now this is a Disney uh, program. So what I want to emphasize today is this, and, and I don't want anyone to really, you know, I mean in some ways you can't help but be offended um, by, the, by our faith and by what God has commanded, so... You know, I can't really ignore that. I mean, the Bible is clear on homosexuality. But I think the thing I want to emphasize very briefly, if I can, for all of us, especially as Christians, is the fact that the culture has caused a gigantic shift in our society. And we've got some major, major changes that has taken place culturally within the last 20 to 30 years in particular. And as a church, and as, you know, as the body of Christ, we're, we're going to have to find uh, better ways of dealing with this. Now, we can't, comp we can't compromise our faith, and we can't compromise what God has commanded us to do. Um, but what I'm opening up and what I'm proposing is, is a discussion. Um, without compromising our faith, without compromising the commands of God, how can we deal with the issues at hand where it's to a point where they're introducing homosexual couples on children's programming on Disney, which used to be a very innocent network. And now, I mean, and I'm not, and this is, and like I said, this is not to offend anybody, but you've got to think about it this way. I'm not one who would want my children necessarily seeing something that hints to that, but here's the truth. Uh, there's no dodging it anymore. And that's, that's the truth. Now, we could try to protect our children all day long, but the truth is we cannot protect our children. And it's on Disney. It's, 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 on most, it's on a lot of major television programs now, and it's hit the media. It's become a trend, and it's become socially and culturally acceptable for the majority, or at least it appears that way. So with that... It's no longer an issue of, you know, what can we do? I mean, it's no longer an issue of dodging it or protecting our children. We've got to come up with a way now to deal with this in an appropriate way while maintaining and respecting and honoring the commands of God. So I'm proposing this discussion. Um, I would love to hear from you. We would love to hear from you. Feel free to send us an email or uh, Facebook us, any way you can contact us. There's, there's always some way you can contact us. So any outlet you see there that you'd like to contact us, please do. Especially in the sense of um, if you have something to add to, to the discussion and maybe we can air it on the program. Um, of course, if it's a telephone call, we won't be able to do that. Uh, you could record a short video. I think you might be able to email that to me. Um, possibly, or to the ministry. So, you know, just uh, feel free to drop in on this conversation and maybe we'll be able to pick it up one day. And I want to also say I'm not taking a jab at the show Good Luck Charlie. It's a pretty funny show. Um, it was fun to watch and we enjoyed it. Um, but like I said, you know, this is a Disney program and it shows the impact of how serious this has become. And what it is, it's just like any other thing that God commanded us not to do. And it's and God commanded us not to live a lifestyle like that. But here it is. 
So we need to think about it and pray about it. So let's think about it and pray about it and come together and reason together and, and come up with some new ways that we can deal with this, especially with our children. We've got to come up with better ways of dealing with our children uh, on these issues. So until Sunday, we look forward to seeing you then on Christ Centered. We hope this has been a blessing to you. And don't forget, please submit any questions that you have to us, and we will respond to them as expediently as possible. God bless you. Bye-bye.